In this tutorial, we'll look at multiplying integers. You'll actually find that multiplying integers is even easier than adding or subtracting integers. Let's consider finances as our example while we discuss this. Loans and assets, something we all have to deal with throughout our lives. We'll consider money we've gained as positive and money we lose as negative. So, a stash of money we would have would be a positive, and money we owed would be a negative. Okay, so you have the idea? What if we sold six books and we earned five dollars for each book we sold? So we'd have six groups of five dollars, or plus six times plus five equals plus thirty we'd have a $30 stash, $30 to the positive. Then what if we texted four times during a holiday, internationally, and then we're told that we owed $2 each time we text? We'd have four calls, with each one causing us a loss of $2, or four groups of minus two equals a negative eight. Yeah, we would owe eight dollars. And like with any multiplication, we could multiply them in any order. It could be seen as a loss of two dollars repeated four times, or minus two times plus four. Same thing, minus eight. Still, we'd owe eight dollars. At this point, we've established that it would make sense for two positives being multiplied would be a positive. A positive times a negative results in a negative. And in the same way, switched around, a negative times a positive would also result in a negative. So, just one more scenario left. What would be the result of multiplying two negatives? Now this one's a bit tougher to explain, and some people visualize it this way. Rather than having four texts sent, or four groups, of $2 lost each time, that is 4 times negative 2, say you contacted your mobile carrier and stated that you shouldn't have been charged for those four texts. They agree. According to your plan, those texts shouldn't have been chargeable. So they say, we'll remove those four debts from your account. Now removing four debts could be shown as negative 4, the removal of four groups and each debt is still shown as negative 2. If we removed four groups of debt, we could say negative four groups. If we remove four groups of $2 debt each, then we've improved our finances by $8. I must admit, most students I've used this explanation with don't say, aha, that makes total sense to me and it's perfectly clear now. It's more like, okay, that kind of makes sense if you look at it that way, I suppose. So, if that explanation works for you, great. For the majority, for now, roll with me here and let's move forward with the idea that two negatives multiply do result in a positive. In your learning guide, you'll prove using distribution that this must be true. But for now, let's summarize that two positives multiplied give you a positive answer. Two negatives multiplied give you a positive number as well. A positive times a negative gives you a negative number, and a negative times a positive also gives you a negative answer. Of course, all these work exactly the same for division. Now, you may wish to go back and compare with the addition and subtraction of integers, and you'll find that there's a pretty darn similar pattern here, making it nice and easy to remember.